Welcome to It's Not That Complicated. Today we are making a basic tomato meat spaghetti sauce. My uh, lesbian wives have run out and before they get really, really angry, uh, we're going to make a big batch. So today we're making a huge batch which will basically fill these two pots and will keep us stocked and the wives happy for quite some time. I have some lean ground beef, which we're still going to have to strain the fat out of. Uh, some yellow onions, which by the way, old wives tale, my parents have been doing this for years. If you leave onions sparingly around the house, apparently you're never supposed to get a cold. The onions apparently absorb the virus. Fresh ginger, tons of fresh ginger, love fresh ginger. Garlic, tons of garlic, also good for you. And we got a whole bunch of tomato stuff. So what I haven't pulled out yet is all the herbs and spices and all the little magic ingredients that you know everybody has and uh, we're going to be pulling those out a little bit later. So I'm going to get started on prepping this. I'm not going to bore you guys with that. And then once I'm ready to toss everything into the pot, we'll get started again. There, we got some in there. This pot's a little smaller. Love lots of meat. Big meat. Nothing like it. Very important to make sure the flame is on, otherwise you can get really high, like that. Oh, there go my eyebrows, like I needed to lose more hair. Here we go. Got these started. Get on these onions. If you actually cut one specific side before the other and chop up your onions, it stops you from crying. I don't know which side it is. Meat, the hamburger really tastes like steak, like meat, is I actually add a steak spice to it. I already have pre-blended. There's also, there's quite a bit of salt in this, which means we're probably not going to throw any salt in later. But this is going to make our ground beef taste like steak. So I peeled the onions, took the ends off, and I've also gotten the ginger and the garlic ready. Ginger, I actually leave the skin on. Some people peel it, but you lose half the ginger, and you know what? My thought is probably most of the nutrition is actually right in there. I only have this as a little food processor, and I actually really use one because I normally just chop everything, but since I'm making such a big batch, I'm actually using this. So it's about as small as it needs to be. Throw some in there. A little bit in here, make sure we share it somewhat equally. All right, then we do the garlic. This little thing is magic and it doesn't use up a whole lot of room. Sometimes the blade falls off. Sometimes it falls off twice. Better not fall off again. we are really angry. There we go. So that's my garlic. I'm going to do the same thing with the oven, evenly distribute that. And then after, I'm going to open up all my lovely cans of tomato stuff. And that's when I will get back to you guys. You don't need to watch me do all this. It's a little boring. Oh, cheers. Some of this is going to go in there too, but most of it's going to go in here. Okay, so here we go. So I actually let all of the garlic and the onions and the ginger and everything cooks thoroughly. So as you can see there's still there's quite a bit of fat, but we're actually not going to worry about the fat right now. We'll uh, take care of that at the end because actually you get a lot of flavor from fat. So we're going to start by throwing these tomato sauces in. We'll get those all cleaned out. Make sure that there's nothing left behind there. I know I'm really talented, aren't I? Cross armed. So actually, I have tomato paste, which I'm going to use later. We're going to see which sauce needs the most. And now I'm going to throw in all of our special ingredients. This is soya sauce. 
I always, as you probably know by now if you've watched before, I always try to use ingredients other than salt. Balsamic. This will make your sauce really tangy. And you don't have to worry about how much, what portions we're putting in because I'll have all that written down for you at the end of the show or you can actually just email us and I can actually send you the recipes. This is a mixture of Italian spices. Don't be afraid. So you can get these in bulk. It's called Italiano. And this is kind of a special ingredient. It's really good. This is actually a chicken marinade spice. And the same thing. You don't need to be shy. Chili powder. I'll kind of give it a little bit of a smoky flavor. This is El de Provence. So it's this French mixture of five herbs is very, very floral. And the last thing you want to do is use a lot of it. Otherwise, you end up feeling like you're eating weeds. But it does give really nice fragrance to the sauce. And that you can pretty well buy anywhere. It's called El de Provence. Chili. This is a chili garlic you can get in pretty well any Asian food store. It's really strong, so you don't need a lot. I tend to make my sauce a little bit spicy. Also, hot sauce. When you actually use a swing hot sauce, one of the main ingredients is vinegar. You give your sauce a lot of flavor. And, this is rice sugar, which is a lot healthier than actually using white sugar. And it doesn't taste like rice. There we go. And, as promised, Probably throw a lot more of that in later, but not in the sauce. We're gonna mix these up and then uh, we're gonna come back and take a look and see what they look like in a few minutes. Okay, so we're pretty well done. The only thing we're gonna have left to do is basically remove the fat. So we're just gonna let this sauce settle and then the fat's gonna come on the top. You just grab a ladle like this and just dip it in, let the fat go into it, just put it aside so you won't be needing that. So just to recap on basically what we've done is we started off with the uh, fresh ginger, the onions, the garlic, lots of it, the more the better, and we have all of our tomato sauces. We're going to end with the tomato paste, but again, I'm just going to wait and see what the consistency is on the two sauces. We have the soya sauce, the hot, hot sauce. Uh, chili sauce, um, it can go as hot as you want. What I do is I generally just, I make it spicy and tangy but not too hot and then and when I remake it for myself I make it a lot hotter but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm giving it out and I have people who come and some people don't like too spicy and whatnot so they can spice it up as much as they want. Uh, we use the uh, chicken spice which is uh, mixed herbs and blended spices and also the Italian blend and then the soya, the balsamic and the rice sugar. Now I'm going to give you guys all of the amounts for these to make this huge batch. We're saying if you want to make a smaller one, just you know, divide it on your own. Now you've got the basics and you know, twist the sauce to whatever it is that you like and you just have to cook your pasta and you're all set to go. So Justin Cote signing off and you know what? It really wasn't that complicated, was it? See ya.